everything is in Korean. This is it. Oh, do you have this? This video, right? No? Yeah, okay. So this is new desktop. So this is the media browser from before and the uh, timeline. And then we have a new tool, the DVD and Blu-ray creation tool, which yeah. is new. Uh, uh, but I'll explain a little bit later. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the output menu used to be on top, but now we have output menu on, on every object. So the media browser has an output. Uh, timeline has an output, and magnet also has output on it. Uh, uh, it's the same, you know, you have your picture, our movies, you know, music, and, uh, and pictures. This is the same as Super Bowl School. Yeah. All things are only component? Yes, yes. All component, uh, drag and drop, drop and... Yes, yes. Um, yeah, you could still do that. You know, mouse over, preview, uh, fast forward, and rewind with the with the mouse wheel. Yeah. And then you know you could click it out onto the desktop like before. Yeah. Um, but the new feature that we added is auto video creating. So you just select the files you want to use, like uh, like this, and then you create a slideshow movie. Ah, uh, yeah. And then it automatically creates your video for you using the files that you selected. So you know you could drag this and you could see all the files you selected that are attached in the movie. And it adds uh, transitions as well. Oh, automatically computer. Yes, yes. Uh, right here you could change you know how long you want uh, pictures to be displayed. Uh, here you could change like the transition style. And here you could uh, set the resolution for your video. Yeah. And you know you could output this just as it is and create MP4 file. But you could also uh, create or edit more. And when you click the edit more, yeah. it, it throws it onto the timeline yeah. with uh, with the transitions. Oh. So here you can, you know. Uh, so yeah, a new feature that we added was. Before we only had fade in and cut, oh, yeah. but now we have more transition wow. types. So you can select, you know, different types of transitions. Yeah. So if you want to change, you know, the transition for it to come in from the right, you just select this, and uh, it will transition from the right and uh, leave to the left. Oh, yeah. uh, you can also set the transition. The transition for the beginning, middle, and end. Yeah. So you could, let's say, uh, I wanted to zoom in, and then uh, you know slowly pan, pan down. Yeah. And then when it's at the end, you wow. could uh, you know wipe it to the left. Yeah. So you have you can set three different transitions for one one video. Oh uh, yeah. A little bit similar, but. Different from our uh, previous projects. Yes, yes, very, yes, very different. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what you can also do is add text. So all the the text oh. and all the effects used to be up here. Yeah. But now now they're all here. So you can oh. just select text, and you know it'll create a bar like before, and yeah. you could edit the text. Oh. Yeah, I think it's more. More convenience than previous projects. Yes, yes, very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Uh, and then you know the usual change the font and the color. And then uh, another feature we added was these uh, text borders. Yeah. So you could uh, you know make TV like text. Oh. So you just select this, yeah, and then you could change uh, you know the color. You know, change the color of the border and inside text. Oh. Like you want, you know, so you can create your own own text. Yeah. Um, another, we also added uh, another text tool, which is, uh, you know, movies at the end they have the credits. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So we have this credit tool, which scrolls oh. the text like movies. Oh. So you just click on the text bar and you just add the text here. Yeah. 
like this, and then it'll uh, scroll the text, oh. like uh, like movies. Oh. And uh, you know the same. So you enter the text here, and you could also edit, uh, you know, how you want the text to look here, just like the other text. Uh, and so, uh, what we also did was so you can add uh, transitions to the text as well. So this one might be easier to see the transitions. But you know, you have, just like the video, you could select what kind of transition you want your text to have. Oh, yeah. So, you know, the text will come in. And then it'll leave. And you can also, just like the videos, select the transition for beginning, middle, and end. Oh. You know, just like this. Okay. And then it'll change. Oh. Uh, another tool that we have is uh, adding a pause in the video. Oh. You know, movies they they have movement and then the the movement stops and then it continues. Yeah. And so this was a feature that was requested to us by users. So once the video is played here, push the button, you select how long you want the pause to be, yeah. uh, wow. the format for the picture, and click OK, and then it'll ah. uh, a picture for you. And then oh. it'll pause it. Oh. Yeah. Yes, this is also a new feature. Yeah, it's impressive. Yes. So uh, another effect that we have is uh, the cam burn effect, you know, the, the zooming into pictures. Yeah. Oh. So you click the set button and then you could select the start point, like where, uh, where you want it to start zooming in or out. Yeah. And then you select the end point. Yeah. So let's just, uh, I want it to zoom in. So you just select the beginning point, which is the original size. Oh. And then the zoomed in picture. And you can also move the point of zoom. Uh, and then click OK, and then uh, it'll zoom in, can burn into the, uh, the point that you selected. Show me that move. Yes. 